Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thanks for clicking on this video. I'm gonna show you my five favorite exercises to build up your guitar soloing. Uh, part of that is building a vocabulary of licks as well. I've got a free course called Essential Licks from Marty Music. Got a link for it in the description. Like I said, free course to help build up some of that vocabulary. All right, let me show you these exercises. All right, I'll start with the easiest first and we're gonna pick the key of A the minor pentatonic, because it's the most used. So the A minor pentatonic scale, it's a nice one to practice exercises with because it's right in the middle of the guitar. The home row is kind of right there. So you can go up, you can go down. Uh, so the first one is just ascending and descending the A minor pentatonic scale. Root is on the fifth fret there. So ascending, meaning going up the scale. <laughs> that position, the roots there. Always know the roots in the position. So it's the fifth fret there, seventh fret on the D, and fifth fret again on the low E. But ascending, and then descending, which is the opposite. So that is exercise number one. And if you can get it like circular where you're just going up and down without stopping, that's really great. And with your right hand, it's a great way to practice your alternate picking. And if you're a beginner, you just want to do it super slow. I can't emphasize that enough. However, I tried, so. So that is number one. Number two is ascending and descending in groups of four. So if you look at the scale, one, two, three, four. I just went up four notes of the scale. So I went up four starting on that note. So going up in groups of four, ascending means I go up four notes starting on that. Then I go up four notes starting from that. Then I go up four notes starting from that four notes from that, and you get a pattern. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So. Groups of four. That's ascending. So then you want groups of four descending. One, two, three, four. So I want to four down from there, then I'm gonna go four down from there. So. And as you learn them, I like starting with maybe the first two like that. And get a feel for it. And can you hear how it's already kind of starts to sound like something you've heard in a solo? So I just improvised using some of that. So four down from here, four down from there, four down from here, four down from there, four down from here, Four down from here. Four down from here. Four down from here. And then four down from there. It's right in there, in the DNA. So, so far, as a recap, we have 
ascending, descending, the minor pentatonic scale. Alternate picking. And then we have groups of four. Up. And down. Now we are going to do the, the uh, third one, which is groups of three. So if I did three, uh, let's start ascending, actually. So that was three. Then I do three from here. And you put those together. And you get a whole different kind of pattern and sequence. So three from there. Three from here. Three from there. Three from there. Right? It already sounds, once again, like a thing you've heard before. So that was groups of three ascending. Now we do groups of three descending. And if you're a beginner and you're just wanting to learn that, then start with, just start with that first group right there. So three down from here, and then three down from there. Put those two groupings together. A little bit slower. And so what's going on with those exercises is it's just doing all the most important muscle memory stuff for like getting your solos going. Okay, so recap. Number one is ascending, descending, the A minor pentatonic scale. Number two is ascending and descending groups of four. Number three is ascending and descending groups of three. Those are great. Those two, man, really add a lot. Now let's talk about number four. That's ascending and descending the extended scale. And so this is still the A minor pentatonic, but now we're going to play a little bit in the position below and a section of the position above. And this is what you want to do. This is really a good one. Only use your index finger and only use your ring finger for this whole thing. And it's A, so the root's there on the fifth fret, but we have this position below, which would be three, five, and three, five. <laughs> Five, three, five, slide with the ring finger up to seven. And now we're in that main row. But hear each note. Not. You want to hear each note articulated. Alternate your picking if you can. So three, five, three, five, seven. Five seven five seven on the G, just like in that. And you could mix things up, do a little group of three from here. Yeah. Anyway, let's get back to the to uh, the task at hand. Three five three five seven five seven five seven. Side with the ring finger again to nine. Now this gets a little weird because of the B string being tuned a half step off from the rest. So the pattern might look a little different. You got to grab your index finger to the eighth fret of the B with your ring finger on the ninth of the G. So it's a little weird, but you really want to practice this transition. And then to 10 on the B and then eight to 10 on the high E. And so if you look, we're only doing little whole step groupings 
and look at how much ground we cover. Finally, though, we want to know that we have a whole step up as well. Ring finger slide again to the 12th fret. Now we can keep going till we run out of room, but for this exercise, we're not. So we have ascending, three, five, three, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, nine, eight, ten, eight, ten, twelve. Now we have backwards, the descending extended minor pentatonic. So that's 12, 10, 8, 10, 8, and then ring finger, very important, the ring finger on the 9 of the G slid to 7. Down that same pattern, 7 to 3 with the ring finger. I'm sorry, 7 to 5. Then index on 3. And then the root. And then I like to go below the root, back to the root, just to know we covered all the ground. you can do all day all night even when you're like watching a movie you can just program that man that's gonna or you know what or dude or dudette whatever whoever's out there watching right now that made it this far um thank you by the way so anyway up and down that thing up and down that thing even when you're not fully paying attention to it so then the fifth element ooh, sci-fi movie reference fifth element is then just using the vocabulary that you've built. So in other words, just taking licks, like even like stock licks, you know, that you can get from places like the free Essential Licks course I have in the link in the description, totally free, you can start using that to build your vocabulary, right? Um, so you always want to be doing that over a loop with a looper pedal or over a backing track on YouTube to just have now a sonic reference to play either these exercises over or parts of the exercise then with built-in licks that you're learning. I'll show you a classic one that I've used for years just while we're here, and it's this one. Okay, that's between, it's on the G string, we're in A, and it's between the uh, seven and five. So we're going seven, five, seven, but then I'm hitting the five on the B string. So, and then that finger rolls over to the five of the G. And then ring finger on the root of the scale, which is the seven of the D. So, so that's one just little canned lick that you add to your vocabulary, right? So once you've gone through all the exercises, and don't kill yourself with these exercises, but once you've kind of gone through them all and you have them down a little bit, then just use elements of whichever one comes along improvisationally, you know, whatever you feel like, and then use a little bit of the vocabulary licks as well like this. Watch what I mean. Uh, I'll do a group of three into the lick. Okay, I'll do the extended into that lick. You see what I'm saying? So then if you had two licks, like here's another one. You have that as one lick and then you have this as one lick. And then you have those exercise elements. I'll do a descending uh, extended into the lick, and then up to the other lick, and then maybe groups of four. So 
One last recap. Number one, tip number one, element number one, ascending, descending, the minor pentatonic. With alternate picking if you can do it. Number two, groups of four, ascending, descending. Descending. Groups of three. Number three, groups of three. Ascending and descending. Element four is the extended scale up and down, only using your index and ring finger, pivoting with your ring finger. And then finally, the fifth element is having a couple of just basic licks as a vocabulary builder. This is the one I showed you. And so then you want to practice that over either your own made loops with a looper pedal or backing tracks right off of YouTube. So get to it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Once again, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget about that free course in the link in the description down there, Essential Licks. Uh, also, uh, just thanks for supporting Marty Music, subscribing, liking the video, leaving comments, all that extra support is greatly appreciated and it really helps the channel out. Uh, and also feel free to request stuff in the comments. Hope to see you later.